Thank you, Chris. We have one more speaker and then a couple of announcements to, uh, to wrap up the keynotes. Um, so to bring out our last speaker from the largest automobile manufacturing company in the world, Volkswagen Group, please welcome Mario Mueller. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you today? Good. It's a wonderful event right now. This I can see is really great. So I would like uh, to congratulate also the winners uh, and all the finalists, uh, at and That was wonderful. Great. So I will talk a little bit about the Volkswagen Group and what we are doing in the OpenStack environment. Uh, the Volkswagen Group has uh, 12 successful brands and different portfolios. Um, we have the Volkswagen Cars. Um, it's uh, the brands Audi, it's the brand Bentley, it's Bugatti, it's Dugatti on the motorbikes, it's Lamborghini, the heavy trucks and buses, MAN, or Porsche, or Scania, Seat, Skoda, Volkswagen passenger car, and Volkswagen uh, light uh, uh, vehicles. <coughs> the Volkswagen Group is also active in other fields of businesses, like manufacturing large diesel engines, turbocharger, turbo machinery, vehicle transmission, and testing systems for the mobility sector. In addition, the Volkswagen Group offers a wide range of financial services, including dealer and customer financing, leasing, banking, and insurance activities, and fleet management. We spent in 2014 approximately 1.5 billion euros in research and development, not for the IT, I have to say, to develop our new cars. We showed on the CES 2016 the body, a fully electric, fully connected car. Oh, <laughs> and another one we showed too is the Mission E, a Porsche concept study with a tribute to tomorrow. This is also a fully connected car, fully electric, has uh, approximately 600 uh, horsepower, and the acceleration to 100 kilometers is uh, three and a half seconds, and that's uh, pretty fast, and it will run over 500 kilometers distance before you have to recharge it. So we, we're doing a lot of development in the area for our new products there. And uh, we have uh, around the world 119 production plants in 20 European countries and a further 11 countries in Americas, China, Asia, and Africa. Every weekday, more than 600,000 employees worldwide produce nearly 41,000 vehicles or work in vehicle-related services. So the Volkswagen Group sells its vehicles in 153 countries. What does it mean to the IT? So we have a pretty heterogeneous IT infrastructure and we have to improve our work streams. We have to get more automatization levels as we have today. And of course, we have to standardize our IT infrastructure and applications. Uh, we have to manage all this complexity, and this, this picture doesn't show our network. It's another one, it's not ours. Yeah, it's not ours. No. And uh, we have to speed up, and it's the most important point, the delivery of IT to the business. We are right now too slow, we have to get much more faster, all of the demand that we get from our customers and our IT colleagues and out of the business. And besides that, of course, as always, you have to reduce your costs. That means we have to reinvention of the IT infrastructure in the Volkswagen Group. 
And we all know the best way to predict the future is to invent it. And we started to implement OpenStack as the open cloud platform in the Volkswagen Group uh, for all of the new applications that we need uh, to get much more faster as we are right now, give the business what they need, give our software developers what they need. And uh, we started this journey to this cloud in mid-2015. We do have a heterogeneous world right now, uh, and we do need also the connection of the new cloud into this old ecosystem, because we need many data out of this ecosystem that's there. So we started this journey in mid-2015, and we launched our first environment at the end of 2015. Uh, our second version will be ready in mid-2016, so we are just now in front of production. Uh, with our new generation of websites, with our new car configurator, with an application platform for our users named WeDrive, with smart production analytics, 3D rendering, and many, many other things. On top of this OpenStack IIS layer, we work with Cloud Foundry on this PIIS layer. So we need this development environment for our users there to get uh, great integration, uh, the great CI, CD tool chain for being pretty fast uh, with new deployments. So OpenStack is there. OpenStack is now in the company, and we are pretty proud of that, I have to say. We're working together there with Mirantis, and it's running pretty well. And we are so happy to work with, with you in such a great community, in such a great organization. And that's, that's wonderful for us to get all this input there and have all these great people where we can exchange information there. We just finished our new data center. This data center is now ready and ready for production. And we will install approximately in this 2,000 uh, uh, square meters of IT uh, place in this data center, just only for this OpenStack implementation, approximately 900 cores, 260,000 gigabytes of RAM, much more than 2,500 terabytes uh, of storage. We will span this environment around the world uh, to APEC region, to China, to the Americas, and not counting that we need uh, a hybrid version of it to work with other cloud providers together. So as I mentioned before, the CI CD tool chain is also implemented, and uh, the Volkswagen Group did uh, a commitment, we are going cloud first with all our new developments. So by the way, do you know how many hours lifetime, in average, everybody in this room is spending in a vehicle? Any guess? So how many know how many hours lifetime, in average, everybody in this room is spending in a vehicle? Any idea? Just guess. How many hours? OK. I will tell you, approximately more than 37,000 hours. So the most of the time is, from our point of view, waste of time. If you think driving in great traffic or driving downtown, searching for a parking slot. So wouldn't it be great to have a sleep uh, in your vehicle after a hard working day and being relaxed in the next morning approaching your vacation destination? In the last 100 years, the engine was the heart of the vehicle and the driver, the brain. In this uh, century, autonomous driving will be the heart of the system and the mobility platform for mobility on demand will be the brain. Basis for this will be a perfect, a perfect connectivity to all vehicles and the cloud 
to interact with smartphones, smart homes, as well as over-the-air software updates and upgrades and all vehicles and, and many more services for our customers. We plan to do this basis with our OpenStack implementation. So thank you very much, and thank you working with you together in this great organization. Uh, we are proud of it, and we are looking forward to tell you the results of this implementation in the beginning of next year. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. So we have uh, heard about the future of networks that are gonna connect us all, 5G, high-speed mobile, heard about the future of manufacturing, heard about the future of mobility, AT&T, SAP, Volkswagen, all of them said that OpenStack was, uh, was strategic to them, which is pretty cool too. Now before we wrap up here and, and go to all the breakout sessions, just a couple of, of quick announcements. First of all, if uh, we, I know we opened the doors and let everybody in. If you didn't get a badge, you need to go get a badge if you wanna be able to get into the, uh, the sessions for the rest of the event. So you go back to registration and do that. And one of the things that, uh, that we often wanna know is where is the summit going next? I mentioned earlier we're going to Barcelona in October of this year. Um, but in 2017, we are returning to Boston <laughs> in May. May 8th, 2017, mark your calendars. And following that, uh, in November of 2017, for the first time, we will be taking the OpenStack Summit down under. <laughs> Some Aussies up here. And, and Ben Keeps, I do know the difference between Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> uh, but we'll, it'll be in Sydney the week of November 6, 2017. So uh, May 8th, November 6th, next year for the OpenStack Summit. We've got a great week ahead. I hope all of you are able to, uh, to learn, to collaborate, to meet new people, and most importantly, have a good time with OpenStack. Thank you. Soul Track Mind, play us out. <laughs>